All right, guys, this is my second and pretty much probably my final video on distance time graphs. And this time, what we're going to do is we're going to plot the graphs. OK, so you can see we're going to start here. Um, I probably should label this as my point of zero. And this is my starting point. OK, it's my start. OK, what we're going to do is we're going to read the information bit by bit and then we're going to plot it as we go along. Now, the first bit of information said that we should start at zero kilometers an hour. So that's fine. We'll start at zero kilometers an hour. The second bit of information says that we should travel at 20 kilometers an hour for two hours. Now, in the first video, I showed you, um, I reminded you that average speed, um, let's probably use a pencil for that. So average speed is equal to distance over time and also I showed you a quick little triangle I did say that I don't particularly like the triangle but um, it comes in quite handy when you can't be bothered to do the maths okay to do the rearrangement so um, speed is distance over time and how you use this triangle is like this um, if I want to find, let's say, I want to find out what my, um, I don't know, what my distance is, you block off distance and then you have a look at what you've got left. And what you've got left is speed next to time, so it means it's speed times time or t speed by time. If you're trying to calculate time, you block time off and it's distance on top of speed okay so that's what that's how you use that triangle um quite frankly i'd much rather you just focused on doing um the rearrangement algebraically but anyway let's go back to where we were so here what we said that we were going to do is travel for 20 kilometers an hour for two hours so they've given us the speed and they're given us the time but they haven't given us the distance and this is a distance time graph we need the distance but what we already know is that you're traveling for two hours so we already know we're going to stop at this point but we just don't know how far up we need to go so let's find the distance let's use the triangle block off d in order to find time sorry in order to find the distance we multiply speed and time together so let's go ahead and just do that so the distance for this first part of the journey is the speed, which is 20, times the time, which is two hours. So it's a distance of 40 kilometers. So that's, that's very important, that information now. We travel for two hours and we go all the way up to 40. So we're just going to quickly um, draw that in. Uh, travel for two hours and then go all the way up to 40. So here we go, two hours to 40. Lovely, that looks really good. Now, let's carry on reading. And the next part we need to do is we need to rest for one hour. Okay, so that means we're just going to rest between two and three hours. So since we're already up here at 40, I'm literally just going to draw that in. So I'm just going to rest for one hour there. Stopping on three hours okay let's make bring that over there just a little bit more okay then now i can rub those bits out okay the next job that we've got to do is we need to now travel towards the start um let's get my highlighter yeah travel towards the start at 30 um, a distance of 30 kilometers in three hours so we're traveling for a distance of so this time they've given us everything we need which is very very useful it means that we're coming back down but we're doing it in three hours so right now we've been resting on that three hour uh, on, on, on at this time here so we've been resting there now all we need is a line going from there traveling for three hours but the question is, are we going to go all the way down to zero? Well, no, because look, we're here on 40. It says travel 30 kilometers. Now, 30 kilometers means that we're going to stop on 10. We're not going to go all the way down. So basically, we need to stop somewhere about there where the 10 is. OK, so we're going to stop over there. I'll just pause the video and draw it in. 
okay and this is the finished product of the graph now let's do the last bit the last bit now says that for the last part of the journey what is the speed so we'll just calculate the speed real quick and we're going to say that the speed uh, is distance over time and this is for the last part or the second movement in this graph well let's have a quick look at what we've actually got well, the distance travel, it started on 40, ended on 10, so it's traveled for 30, or you could have just read it from there, it traveled for 30 kilometers. And the time that it took to travel that distance is three hours, or you could just read it from here, three hours. So we divide it by three, which gives us 10 kilometers per hour. All right, and that's pretty much done, guys. That is, that is it. Now let's have a look at another problem. Okay, so here's our second question. If you're feeling a little bit brave, feel free to um, start on your own. Uh, pause the video and then start, or otherwise then let's just jump straight into it. So, we're gonna define this point as our starting point again. Let's see what the question says. It says start 50 kilometers from the start. So I'm just gonna highlight that quickly start 50 kilometers from the start now if you look very carefully if the start is here 50 kilometers from the start will be up here so that's where we're going to start off from then it says travel 30 kilometers towards oh that's not spelled properly is it it's meant to say towards that's one word okay together so it shouldn't be separated but anyway start th uh, travel 30 kilometers uh, towards the start at 15 kilometers an hour well let's see what they've given us here then they've given us 30 kilometers that's distance they've given us 15 kilometers an hour that is speed what they haven't given us is the time so what we know is we're traveling 30 kilometers down which means we're going to stop on 20 They've given us the speed, but they haven't told us how long that's going to take us. So we need to calculate that. And again, I'm just going to draw the quick triangle up here to say that speed is distance over time. Now we need to calculate the time because they haven't given us the time. So if I block off time, what I've got is distance on top of speed. So in order to find the time now, it's going to be distance divided by speed. The distance traveled is 15. The speed, sorry, the distance travel was 30. Um, so let's just rub that out and do that properly. So the distance traveled was 30. And the uh, speed was 15. So when you divide that, it take them it took them two hours okay two hours to do that journey so now that we know it takes two hours and we're only traveling 30 kilometers down we're stopping on 20 it means that we're coming all the way to this point here so I'll just put a little point there and then I'm going to attempt to draw my line going down there okay so right there we go what else did they tell us to do in the question? Well, they said we need to rest for three hours. Well, that's a pretty long rest, isn't it? So let's highlight that now. So we're resting for three hours, which means we're not moving up or down. We're not going anywhere. So if we're now on two hours there, three hours later will bring us to five hours. So we'll just um, quickly draw that in and just make that a little bit longer for five hours. All right, and last of all, um, let's see what else they wanted from us now. Go 20 kilometers to, uh, towards the start. I think this, oh, this was really messed up today, isn't it? Okay, so we're going to go, um, we're gonna go 20 kilometers um, towards the start and we're gonna do it in one hour. So this should actually say towards. Okay, towards the start, and we're going to do it in one hour. All right, cool. So let's have a look now. 
20 kilometers, that's distance, I'm happy with that. Now 20 kilometers will bring us straight down to zero. Uh, we need to do it in one hour. So one hour later will be, will bring us straight away to six hours there. So that's just a quick line going down there, that's fine. All right, so that's what that graph looks like. And uh, now it says for the last part of the journey, what is the speed? Okay, that's the easy bit. So speed is still distance over time. The distance traveled was 20 kilometers. You can read it off the graph from there to there. It's just 20 kilometers. Or you can just read it from there, 20 kilometers. And did it in one hour. So it's 20 kilometers per hour. All right. And that's it. Now, I've got one more question. This is the last one. Um, you should be really, really confident now um, to come and start doing this on your own. Um, so please, you know, really do pause the video now and have a go. Um, I will, and while I, while you do that, I'll just draw the triangle in to help you to say that speed is distance over time. All right, pause the video, please have a go. All right, let's rock and roll. Let's go towards it. Um, this time we're going to start 10 kilometers from the start. So the start is here, 10 kilometers from the start is just at this point, we're starting here, okay? It says travel 40 kilometers an hour away from the start for one hour. So what have they given us here then? Um, this 40 kilometers an hour is speed and they've given us the time. So what we need to find is the distance. Now to find distance, we multiply speed by time. So uh, our distance is speed times time. The speed is 40, the time is one. So that's 40 uh, kilometers that you would have traveled. So here we go then. Um, we're going from here. We're going all the way up to 50 and we're doing it in one hour. And yes, I said 50 because the distance you traveled is 40, but you're starting at 10. So you're starting here, 40 kilometers later, is all the way up there. So basically our point is somewhere there. And I'm just going to draw that quickly. Uh, let's put that on the starting point and bring that all the way up there. Okay, that's fantastic. Okay, we're not resting for long on this one. We're only resting for one hour. So that's going to bring us over from one to two hours over there. So let's just go over just, just a little bit there. And then last of all, it says here, travel 20 kilometers towards the start for the next four hours. So 20 kilometers will only bring us down to 30. We're not really going that far, okay? Remember, we're all the way up to 50, 50. We just bring us down to 30. And we're doing it for four hours. So after two hours, four hours later will be six hours. So uh, we're only coming pretty much to this point, okay? So that's going to give us a straight line coming down there uh, to that point, okay? Lovely. So that should do us nicely. And that's what that graph looks like. And last of all, the speed for the last part of the journey, speed is still distance over time. The distance that we traveled in that last part alone, just that last part is 20 kilometers. And we did it in four hours. So it looks like we are going very, very slow five kilometers an hour. All right, guys. So that's the end of this second and probably final video on distance time graphs. Um, I hope it was straightforward and um, and you were able to understand it very well. All right, feel free to like and subscribe.